Today I'd like to talk about new Mercedes GLE class exterior, interior, and all the new technologies. If you look at the front, you immediately notice that new generation of GLE class has taken an identity of the current GLS class. The front grille, the hood lines and the overall feel all points to the current GLS. Personally, I think it's a big plus, because right away you can see the Mercedes-Benz SUV unmistakably. When I've seen the previous spy shots, I was afraid that Mercedes designers will completely transform the look of this mid-sized utility vehicle but thankfully it actually looks more like a family now look from the side you will not notice much changes from the previous 2019 GLE class however the new 2020 unit is a little longer and it has much more of the interior space the wheelbase of 117.9 inches of the new model has been increased by 3.15 inches compared to the previous model. That's huge! Also, there is a noticeable increase in legroom and headroom in the second and the third rows. When I say previous 2019 model, I mean 2018, since 2019 model hasn't even been released yet. 2019 models will have very short run and you can watch our other video 2019 GLE class review here, the link is below. Headlights are completely redesigned and have this new kind of aggressive stare, uh, similar to the new CLS and GT four-door sedan models. If you look from the rear and compare to the current GLE, you can see that 2020 model is much lighter, simpler and I would say it looks a little sportier. However, if you get this new GLE with AMG Sport styling, this car will look drastically different. The front diamond black grille combined with much more aggressive bumpers, large wheels and AMG style lower bodywork definitely gives you a different feel altogether. AMG Sport styling is more unique, limited and looks a lot sportier. It just looks like something else. By the way, GLE historically has been known to offer one of the best aerodynamics characteristics and the new figures are even more outstanding. The new model improved the coefficient of drag to the lowest in its class down to 0.29 from the previous of 0.31. The interior of 2020 GLE has really major improvement. Just the interior alone will probably make a lot of you want to replace your current model for this new one. The new multifunction steering wheel gives you easy controls and fingertips touch sensors. The new MBUX multimedia system is not even called multimedia anymore. MBUX stands for Mercedes-Benz User Experience and what an experience it is. High resolution widescreen is housing two colossal 12.3 inches 
widescreen side by side, featuring the artsy graphics. MBUX should become a serious competitor to Google's Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And as far as I understand, this user experience is a lot more technologically advanced. Have you ever dreamed to own an intelligent robot? Here's your chance to own one. The intelligent voice control comes with the natural language understanding. The voice is overly polite, does not scream, does not swear, which is a big plus, and can sing like a bird. Well, I'm not sure about the singing part. As you normally engage Apple CarPlay by saying, Hey Siri, or Android Auto by saying, OK Google, you will engage MBUX system by simply saying, Hey Mercedes. The scope of the MBUX multimedia system is so large that I will be making a completely separate tutorial just about MBUX alone. Consider subscribing to my channel. The additional space inside the new 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLE added just enough space to squeeze the third row seat, which was something a lot of you were asking for a long time. It's not as comfy as GLS class third row, but it will serve its purpose if the need arises. Especially it's great for kids, just make sure not to put your wife or your girlfriend or especially both of them over there, because it's not going to end very well. The third row can be ordered with the full electrical fold, similar to the current GLS class. The second row seat can be ordered with the full six-way electrical adjustment. On top of it, the second row can be equipped with an easy entry option, the same like in the GLS class, which makes the entry to the third row a breeze. The 2020 GLE 350 rear-wheel drive and GLE 350 4Matic four-wheel drive will actually feature the brand new four-cylinder engine. What? That sounds a little bit small for this kind of a car, right? But many of you said the same thing when 2017 E300 came out, only come to realization that this new four-cylinder isn't that bad. You can watch my comparison video of 2016 E350 versus 2017 here. The link is below. The new GLE's four-cylinder engine actually has 14 more horsepower than E300 and outputs 255 horses. However, I think this engine is the same or pretty much the same as an E300, maybe just a notch modified, because it produces the same torque as E300 in line 4, the total of 273 pounds per feet. It's hard to say if that power is sufficient for this kind of an SUV before this car is publicly released and I can physically test drive it, which I'm planning to review in the future. However, I can confidently say that new 2020 GLE 450 model is getting an excellent engine and I don't need to test drive to prove it. Another very exciting news is the new M256 engine in line 6. Don't mistake with V6. After 20 some years Mercedes is coming back with inline 6 engine and I'm very happy. I love straight 6 engines. So which engine is better V6 or straight 6? Let's take a look. Which one is simple and reliable with no cylinder offset design? Which one needs less parts? For example only two camshafts, not four. Which engine is more balanced and revving is more silky steady? And which one is more compact and stiffer and more versatile? As you can see i6 holds first three, but v6 is smaller and stiffer. Uh, the thing is engineers are split 50-50 on which is better, but personally I like i6 because it's very easy to access, very easy to work on. For example, this one you can see cylinder 1st and 6 works in unison, also cylinder 2 and 5 work together, and 3 and 4. Very simple design, this will last forever. I love straight 6. Another huge improvement of 2020 Mercedes GLE class is the new 9-speed automatic transmission 9G Tronic, which is replacing the previous 7G Tronic transmission. That should improve the fuel efficiency and overall 
ride comfort. Optionally, fully variable formatic four-wheel drive system is available for the first time ever on the GLE. This four-wheel drive controls the torque distribution between the front and rear axle anywhere from 0 to 100% depending on the selected driving mode. Greatly reduce the steering oversteer or understeer. I don't want to get too technical here, so let's just say the new GLE will offer you much better handling and performance than the previous one. Here is another major feature that has never been available on the GLE class before. Uh, basically it's a hydro pneumatic suspension which is fully automated, actively preventing the body roll, meaning you don't have to get involved unless you want to. The suspension is smart enough to control the body level during driving, especially when cornering, driving on uneven pavement or if you're just trying to prove how bad of a driver you are, then good luck so you can see if the suspension will risk. According to Daimler engineers, this is the only system in the market where the spring and damping forces can be individually controlled at each wheel. E-Active body control is optional and also provides a free driving mode which is now combined with the revamped Airmatic air suspension and then add the road surface scan and the curve inclination feature and you will notice a big difference in comfort of driving compared to the model without an e-active body control. Free driving mode is a brand new off-road feature. If your 2020 GLE got stuck in the sand, dirt or snow for example, this feature can help to free the vehicle. Believe it or not, this new Mercedes model can actually jump a little a few times which changes the ground pressure of the tires and then improves traction and GLE then rocks itself free. This new e-active body control also comes with the curve inclination feature. It allows GLE to lean into the road curves like a motorcycle. This curve inclination leans into bends in three stages with almost no centrifugal force. If the GLE class is equipped with stereo camera, then the road surface scan will constantly scan the road surface ahead of you. And similarly to S class, will prepare the suspension of GLE for the uneven road ahead to respond proactively by, for example, stiffening each wheel independently. Furthermore, it gets even more crazy. You can actually individually adjust the level at each wheel via the touch screen of the multimedia system. That's very convenient, especially if you are off-roading and dealing with the ditches and all kinds of the uneven pavement surprises. E-Active Body Control has this newly advanced Mercedes 48 volt operating system and you can also add an optional adaptive damping system plus, ADS plus. To wrap up the suspension part, I can assure you then it's way more advanced than not only comparing to previous generation of GLE class but also to all other 99% of the cars in the entire world. The word active means autonomous but it's not 100% guaranteed to work so you better watch out and always make sure you're in control of the car. Don't make your car go wild on you. The car can keep the distance from the car in front of you, even when you are stuck in traffic. As the name of the feature Active Stop and Go Assist refers, it can actually stop and then go, mimicking the behavior of the car in front of you, up to approximate speed of 37 miles per hour. And once the traffic dissipates, your car will be driving at your preset speed. And if you did not preset the speed, then it will be the maximum allowed speed. Some other new features to mention is the new energizing comfort feature which is similar to the most other newest Mercedes-Benz models. And also there is an ability to turn off the active braking assist feature which I would not recommend unless there is some kind of malfunction in your car. Here is the question of the day. What do you like or don't like about the new 2020 GLE class? Please share your opinion in the comment section below.